Hi love, I hope everything is going well. So today I'm gonna show you some of my top period hygiene tips that it will make you feel clean and fresh even when it's that time of the month. So if you enjoy it, don't forget to like it. And let's start with the first hygiene tip which is showering twice a day while you are on your period. Regular showers during your period are extremely necessary to prevent unwanted odor and for reducing the risk of developing an infection. I normally prioritize this tip in the first three days of my period because the flow tends to be a little bit more heavy, so I usually shower in the morning and then before bed to keep myself clean all these days. When you wash your body, the best practice is to use gentle, unscented soap to clean yourself. I know it is tempting to use fragrance soaps, especially during this time, but the truth is, using these only contributes to unbalance the pH level. So stay away from using this and there, but of course you can use them on other parts of your body, which is totally okay. My next period hygiene tip is wearing lightweight underwear to let your body breathe. Tight fabrics can trap moisture and heat, allowing germs to thrive and irritation to occur. On the other hand, breathable clothing such as cotton allows the heat to flow, you'll experience less odors and feel more comfortable. And if your clothes get stained during this time, here's a tip that works wonders for keeping them stain free. So the fastest way it is that if you see a stain, rinse it right away with cold water before or a set. But if the stain has been sitting for a while, then you're gonna rinse with cold water, then you're gonna pour a little bit of baking soda and soap on the stain, let it sit for 5 minutes, then rinse out with cold water again, and then wash as usual, and that's it. And for the rest of the underwear that I use during my periods, I always rinse them with cold water before washing them separately from my regular clothes. Like, I never wash these two together. If you're like me, experience terrible cramps before and during your period and you want to feel less bloated, then all you need to do is to drink high viscous tea at least once a day during your period to tame this uncomfortable feeling down. The best tea to drink during your period is hibiscus tea because it has more vitamin C than any other herbal tea and if you don't know, drinking vitamin C supports self turnover during your period so it will be less painful and things will flow better. So the way I make this tea is pretty simple. I brew two cups of water with three tablespoons of hibiscus flowers and let it sit for two minutes until it turns into this beautiful color and then I drink it throughout the day. This is the only herbal tea that actually works wonders on reducing my cramps, the bloating, the body aches, puts me into a positive state, plus it is delicious to drink. Drinking this tea also supports good hygiene because it helps to wash out the urinary tract to keep everything clean and flowing. Something extremely important during your period is to regularly change your menstrual products every 3 to 6 hours. Whether you use pads, tampons, menstrual cups, or something else, in order to maintain healthy period habits, you can't forget to do this as a way to prevent infections or rashes. This also helps to get rid of the accumulating smells, and for me, this helps me to feel comfortable during the day and prevent most of the time an accident. With each menstrual method, the time changes a little bit. So before changing yourself, remember to wash your hands before and after you do this. So when it comes to sanitary pads, it is recommended to change them every two hours even if the flow is light. Then for tampons, you can change them every four to six hours. Please do not go more than eight hours without changing them and always double check you got rid of the old one before you use the new one. For menstrual cups, you clean this every day after use. And by the way, when it's time to dispose them, wrap them in a toilet paper or you can also use the same bag that the product it comes in then toss them in a trash bin never flush them down the toilet trust me i didn't know about this before and it caused a lot of problems in the house so learn from my mistake never do it 
Another important hygiene tip to do during your period is changing your bed sheets and towels every three days while in your period. We use this too regularly, so we think time and especially with our period, it could become a place where bacteria are attracted and if it's not cleaned properly, it could develop fungus that it could be transferred to us pretty easily because we sleep on it and towel dry our body with it and sometimes we don't even notice that a little bit got transferred. So changing them a little bit more often during the week it's another good hygiene practice to have when you are on your period when period arrives most of us experience painful cramps and bloating and i'm one of them that puts me into a crying position if i don't take action right away so my next period hygiene tip that works wonders is using a heating pad to reduce inflammation Menstrual cramps happen when the muscles of your uterus contract, which typically happens before and during your period. So when you apply a heating pad, this is going to give you a pain relief because it increases blood flow, which will deliver that much needed oxygen to your abdominal muscles. And as a result, it's going to help them to relax. So the way I use this correctly is to put the heating pad on the lower abdomen, or you can also put it on the lower back. Make sure to not place the heating pad directly to your skin to avoid burning yourself trying to breathe deeply and do your best to relax even though I know it is difficult you can do it once my period is over I wash this which I do it every month I know you are a busy bus girl and as one, during your period, you have to make sure to always carry in your purse a period kit bag. In this pouch, I always have wet wipes, extra menstrual products, spare undie, painkillers, and hand sanitizer. For me, these are a must things to have in my purse when I go out and I have my period. Because first of all, it keeps my inner peace intact. Like if I have an accident, then I can clean myself up with the wet wipes and then change to a clean underwear and that's incredible i know i'm not gonna run out of my menstrual products because i have five of these to change whenever i need to if there's no toilet paper which i've been in a situation like that then you can use the wet wipes to clean yourself or even to refresh yourself during the day just make sure to use unscented ones and if there's no soap to wash your hands which is another situation that i've been in then use the hand sanitizer to stay clean and hygienic but if you have access to soap and water, always choose that one. So yeah, before I go out, I just double check that I have everything I need and if I need to restock, then I do that. But trust me, this tip is so helpful when you are on that time of the month. There's another period hygiene tip that I would like to give you, which is related to skincare. You know, when we are on a period, sometimes we get a lot of oily skin. So for that, I would recommend you to wash your face in the mornings with something that it helps you to remove a lot of that oil so that it doesn't clog your pores. I use this one from CeraVe and it exfoliates and it helps to get rid of all the oiliness and that's what I use the most when I have a lot of oily skin because of my period. I just want to make this video for all my girlfriends out there. I love you guys and talking about these things it should be something very normal to talk about it. All girls go through this every single month and it shouldn't be a topic to be ashamed of and that's why I wanted to make a video about it because Growing up, there is a lot of privacy when it comes to talking about this topic. If you're in the same position, you want to learn more about your body. These are the type of things that I have to learn and figure it out by myself. And I hope this helps you out in one or the other way. And if you did, don't forget to share some love to me by subscribing to this channel right here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll get to see you in the next video. Pura vida. Love ya. <laughs>